Hi, I'm Greg Fitzgerald, President of Trial Consulting Group. I'm going to talk real quick today about Fred's Corporation. We started marketing a Fred's property in Mount Vernon, Georgia about 30 days ago. And in that time, we found that not everybody knows about Fred's. So I'm going to do a quick video here, give you some information about number one, Fred's Corporation, and number two, the lease structure. So let's talk about Fred's. Fred started in 1947. They're headquartered in Memphis, Tennessee. They're a NASDAQ traded company with no corporate debt. Their, their trade symbol is Fred, and they operate in 16 states from Texas up to the Carolinas and as far north as Indiana and Illinois. One unique factor about Fred's, uh, of the 670 stores that are categorized as general merchandise, 320 operate pharmacies. And what we found in marketing this uh, Fred's property in Mount Vernon is they do something interesting that gives them a competitive advantage. What they do is they go in a year or two before actually opening the store, they buy the local pharmacist's business, operate a Fred's Express out of that local pharmacist, then when they open the store they move the pharmacist over there, over, over to the new store, and that pharmacist becomes an employee of the business. Great competitive advantage to compete with the dollar stores but also they're able to wedge themselves in in good geographic locations to compete in markets where the large national drug stores and Walmarts of the world cannot compete because of location. So that's something real interesting. Don't forget the fact that they have no corporate debt. Makes them a real good credit worthy tenant. Let's briefly talk about number two and that's the lease structure. Real similar to Dollar General uh, lease structure uh, back from 2002 to 2009, one where the, I describe it as a blend between double and triple net. Let's talk about that. Uh, number one, the landlord gets reimbursed for real estate taxes and insurance. Where the uh, lease structure can get a little bit confusing is on the maintenance and uh, responsibility there. The way it works, again, back to the dollar general lease structure, is the landlord gets a parking lot allowance of a certain dollar amount per month. They're responsible for making sure the parking lot and lawn get cleaned, cut, mowed, or whatever. Anything relating to HVAC is uh, minimal responsibility of the tenant, somewhere, you know, 750, 750 to 1,000 per occurrence gets reimbursed. So that kind of covers how it's a blend between double and triple net and the lease structure, again, it's a 12-year lease. Uh, there's no rental increases typically until the options. There's three five-year renewal options. So that real quickly covers the two main things about Fred's Corporation and their lease structure. The, what we found that during this time is it's a real good alternative real estate investment because you have a conservative, credit-worthy tenant with a good longer lease term and competitive market caps. Hope that information has been helpful. Please don't hesitate to call us or email us with any questions.